a champion, a champion Welcome back to Anchor News Now for our final episode of the year. I'm Nick. And I'm Maddie. I'm going to get started with a fireside chat with the man who was voted by all the seniors as a favorite teacher from our high school. Let's head over there right now. Oh, that kid's. Hey, Mr. Kirsch. Oh, hey, Nick. Didn't see you there. Hey, I was wondering if you could get an interview in really quick. Absolutely. Pleasure's all mine. I was just wondering how it feels to win Teacher of the Year. Uh, to win Teacher of the Year is an incredible honor. Um, there are so many talented uh, staff here at Avon Lake, um, so to be chosen, truly an honor. Um, what is your teaching style or just way to get the most out of students? Um, if you've ever had me in class, you know I like to smile, uh, to joke. I feel like building those relationships uh, helps get the most out of students. Thank you so much. The My pleasure is all mine. Thank, Thank you very much. What a great teacher and even greater man, Jeremy Kirsch. Let's toss it over now to Owen and Dylan for Sports Talk Around the Block. Thanks, guys. Our sports team this year has shown out, from basketball all the way to swimming. Every single team was super fun to watch, and we went to it all. A handful of teams won the conference title, and we want to give a shout out to all of them. So congrats to boys basketball, girls golf, wrestling, boys swimming, and girls soccer. Total five, wow. And of course, the athletes that competed in the state tournament for swimming, Joe Swain, Tyler Grabowski, Logan King, Quinn Kroniker, Nick Haven, and our very own, Nate Chef Pickles Buck. For diving, Jake Gilbride and Belle File. For wrestling, we went to states competing as a team, including some individuals such as Jack Marconi and Michael Valerino for the boys, and Layla Patterson and Rajan Alhashash for the girls. And of course, the bowling team who had an amazing run at the state tournament. And of course, the dance team for winning the state title for game day. Congrats to all of the athletes at our school. Thank you guys for watching our last episode of Sports Talk Around the Block. Now we'll send you back to our anchors. See ya. With the year winding down, I think it's time to introduce the third and final installment of the Bubba Treatment. For today's issue, Bubba will be going around asking students for their favorite memories at Avon Lake High School. All right, I'm here with Ken at prom. So Ken, Tell me what you're wearing. All right, so first we got the, uh, the Amazon jacket, you know, okay. 70 bucks. I, you know, I went the same out. Same I thought you're looking pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. We got the uh, Amazon tie next, 15 bucks for this in the little, the little handkerchief. We got the uh, boot here from Sisson's Flowers. It was also very nice. Support local business. Oh, yeah. We got my dad's shoes. My dad's shoes. He's had those for about 20 years. And then we got pants from freshman year that I found in my closet. Dude, that might be one of the best fits I've seen all year. Hey, budgeting. Mm -hmm. Budgeting. Ken, to finish it off, I have to ask. What's your favorite memory from high school? Gotta Something say. that's going to stay with you forever? You know, getting interviewed for Anchor News Now at the, uh, who was the physics gala. I think I got a small interview. I measured that forever. It was a great time. For the final segment of the year, we're going to end it with a viewer favorite, Chef and the Chef. Let's throw it over to Chef Nate Buck and see what he's cooking up today. Thanks guys. I'm back for my final edition of Chef and with Chef for the year. And today I'm gonna to be making my favorite snack as a kid ramen noodle salad. It's a lot simpler than you think it is. I only need one pan and a bowl and all this stuff over here. 
So first what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take two tablespoons of butter and put it in a pan. And then you're gonna take some sil slivered almonds, not silvered almonds, and you're gonna put them in the pan until they're nice and brown. <laughs> Look how fast it goes around in there. It's a lot of butter for that amount of almonds. But, you know, hey, this is this was my mom's recipe. Shout out my mom, Jen Buck. Into the pan they go. This recipe should really only take like 10 minutes max. Uh, you can make it in your dorm room at college. You're just gonna wanna stir them around like that, constantly stirring so they don't get too burnt. I really don't know how long this is gonna take. I'm getting pretty frustrated right now. While we let these golden brown just sit there for a bit, maybe cool down, you know, we're just gonna cut up some green onions, get some nice little color in there. You don't wanna use green onions that are too big because then it just looks really weird. So you're gonna put these in a bowl, let them cool off for a while, you know, because they get too hot, they taste like garbage. Once you're done cutting up your green onions, you're gonna add your almonds, the onions, an entire bag of coleslaw, and about half a bag of this spinach into a bowl and put it in a refrigerator for like 10 minutes or so. Just let the entire thing cool together and we'll be back in like 10 minutes. Yeah, I would probably grab a bigger bowl than what I grabbed here. This is actually a pretty big bowl if you hold it up to my head. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna go put this in the fridge. BRB. All right, so now we're back putting that. So now we're back putting that in the fridge. We're gonna make the dressing. Now the dressing's pretty easy. You just need some oil, pepper, salt, vinegar, and sugar. The ramen noodles, we add later, okay? We're not actually cooking the ramen noodles. Only thing you really have to cook is the almonds. All right, so now that we have our dressing, our actual salad stuff, and our crushed ramen noodles, you're gonna want to open up your ramen noodles and find your seasoning. I'm not gonna find it. I'm just gonna dump it out and let God find it. Take your seasoning packet. You don't need it, okay? Because why? Why would you? Why would you use chicken seasoning on this, this kind of salad? This is a is it a vegan salad? It's a vegan salad. So for the dressing, you don't have to add all of it. You know, my mom always says just add half of it and you know, see if you really, if you need to add more, you can add more, but. All right, so now that we're done stirring it, we're just gonna find some plates, plate it up, give it a little taste test. You already know how it is. We're gonna give it a quick taste test, make sure it's all right. I did already eat some of it. I did eat some of it. Oh no, that's so good. It only took you like five minutes. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for watching this final edition of Chef with Chef. I'm gonna send you back to our anchors. Thanks for watching our final episode of Anchor News Now. If you are a senior, then we hope you enjoyed watching these over the school year. We wish you the best of luck on your next endeavors. If you're going to be here next year, then stay tuned for more Anchor News Now next school year with new hosts, new segments, and much more. For Anchor News Now, I'm Maddie. I'm Owen. I'm Nate. I'm Bubba. And I'm Nick. And thanks for tuning in. Toodles. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's over.